Hello, I'm Dan Smith. I'm one of the field archaeologists here at Jamestown, and it's August 2014, and I'm standing in a feature we found earlier this year. Last year we were digging over here in this area following the 1608 Palisade Extension, uh, which we did find. It's right over here, part of the trench. So we opened up a unit over here, trying to find more of it heading more or less east to west, and we found that as well. But while we were digging there, we found a large pit here in what appears to be a 1608 cellar based on the artifacts right over here on the western side of this pit. So we've trowel cleaned the southern half of this pit and we might, uh, we're at least gonna bisect it. We might cut it in quarters and take out part of it so we can get good profile maps of all the walls before we take out the entire pit. While we were trowel cleaning, a number of artifacts already uh, have come out of the soil we were working on. Um, we found scrap copper um, that they used for trade with the uh, Virginia Indians. Um, we found a bone or ivory handle to a knife, a partial uh, handle. And we found a piece of very thin silver wire. Um, in addition, coming out from right over here at the edge of the feature, we found a, um, a copper alloy mid 16th century Spanish coin. This is an exciting feature because it's only the second fort period structure we found outside of the original 1607 triangular fort footprint. This is important because most of the material culture or artifacts representing the material culture from the fort period have come from within the fort. So this feature, very early feature on the outside of the 1607 fort is going to shed new light on the early years of the Jamestown colony.